Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the edit module here in Luminar Neo. Now this is where all the editing happens and this is where you're going to spend most of your time. Knowing that, we want to make sure that you understand every single part of this module and you use it to your own advantage. So we are once again here in Luminar Neo and we are already in the edit module. Now, as you can see on the top of the screen, we have the catalog presets and edit module. And if you anywhere else in the application, all you need to do is to click on the edit module button, or you can also hit the E on your keyboard, which will bring you directly into the edit module. Now we're going to go around the screen and we're going to look at all the different parts you should know about. So starting from the top right corner, we have an option to export the file. So when we click on that, you see that we have uh, options to share the image to your disk. So basically save it to your hard drive. And we also have an option to share it to your messages, mail, or share it to the device by using the connect app. Now we're going to create a new tutorial for each one of those. So we don't worry about it. However, just so you know, you can share by using this little button in a top right corner. After that, we're going to move our attention to the main toolbar. It's located on the right side of your screen. And starting from the top, we have the tools and edits. We will move to the edits in a moment. So let's start by looking at the tools. Now looking at the tools, we have the crop AI on the top. And then we have a one, two, three, four, and five different sections of our tools. So first of all, let's talk about the crop AI. The crop AI tool automatically adjusts the composition, crop, and perspective of the photo. If you need it, you can manually fine tune any aspect of the resulting composition. We have a full tutorial on the Crop AI and it should be in the right corner of your screen right now if you want to learn more about this tool. After that, as I mentioned, we have a different sections. Now starting with the favorite section. The favorite section was added with one of the recent updates and it now allows you to bring your favorite tools and add them to this section so you can access them quickly when you do your edits. Now to add a tool to your favorites, you just need to hover over one of the tools you want to add. Then you right click on it and you will get the option to add to favorites. So when you click on that, it will automatically be added to your favorites list. To remove the tool from your favorite section, you just need to right click on the tool and it will give you option to remove from favorite. That way it will go back to its original section. Moving to the essentials. Now the essential tools are some of the most frequently used tools in Luminar Neo and these tools perform core adjustment that are useful for most images. It has the erase tool, a develop tool, structure AI and so on. The next section are the creative tools. Now the creative tools help you to express yourself with your photos, explore option for color and style that you can affect the mood of an image. It has all the different tools with some of the favorite tools of Luminar Neo, including sky, atmosphere, sun ray, dramatic, mood, mystical, glow, full grain, and so on. Moving to the next section, we have the portrait section. The portrait section includes collection of tools designed to help improve portrait photos in a natural yet pleasing way. It includes tools like Portrait Bokeh AI, Face AI, Skin AI, Body AI, and also the popular High Key. The professional section offers professional tools that are designed to offer precise controls to advanced users. Explore them for some of the most useful tools in Luminar to control color and tone. 
this section offers tools like Super Contrast or Color Harmony. While we on our main toolbar, let's talk about some of the basic functionality shared by each of the tools. So we will open the tool, and as you can see right now, we have all the different tabs. You can open and close them by using these arrows. And on the top, we have the options of adjustments and masking. When I start to do any edits, you will see that we get additional two options. We get this little eye icon, which is called quick preview, and we can simply see the before and after individually for this tool. Now inside Luminar Neo, we have a two options for seeing the before and after. We can use the before and after on the bottom of our screen, and that way we can see before and after for all the edits we created using all the tools in Luminar Neo. Or you can use the eye on the individual tool to see the before and after only for the edits you made inside of that individual tool. After that, we have the reset tool, and when we click on this button, it basically reset that specific tool. One more thing I wanted to point here is that when you adjust any of the slider, and you want to bring them back to its original value or to zero, you just double click on the name of the slider. The second tab tool on all the tools is called masking. And when you click on that, you will get the options of different masking tools like brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, and mask AI. You can also click on the mask actions, and that will give you some additional options for masking. Finally, we're going to close the develop tool and we will move into the edits tab. So we were looking at the Tools tab, and now we click on the Edit tab. The Edit tab is a place where all your tools go after you edit them and close them. So let me show you how it works. We're going to close this Develop tool and move back to our tools. Inside of the tools, let's use the Enhance AI tool, and let's just push the Sky Enhancer slider. So as you can see, we made an edit to it, and now when we close it and open it again, you can see it resets to zero but the edits remain on the picture. So now we can move into our edits panel, and in the edit panel, we can see that we have the enhanced AI here with the setting we set earlier. Now from here, you can see that we still have the same options like inside of the tools panel, we can see the before and after, and we can also reset the tool from here. Now after you reset the tool, you get an additional option, and that is basically to delete the tool from here and completely delete this edit. After that, what you can do, you can go through all the different edits, or you can also click on the button called Discard Edits, and that will remove all the edits created from the beginning of the editing. If you want to reset the edits, you can just click on the tools, and they will reset to their previous settings. So this was the Edits tab in our main toolbar, so let's switch it back to our tools, and now it's time to move to other parts of our Edit module. Let's move our focus towards the bottom of the screen where we have a three different options. First, the eye icon, similar to our tools, it will show you the before and after, but this time for all the edits you made to the image. So this is what you would use to see the before and after. The next option is the zoom. You can see that currently we're looking at the 54%, and when we click on the little arrow, you see there are some presets options here. Fit to screen, we're using right now, and then everything from 25% to 3000%. Now, we have some additional shortcuts we can use for zoom. You can use Command or Control plus and minus to zoom in and out. And also, you can use your spacebar to quickly zoom in to 100%. After that, we have a third option here that is called Actions. Again, next to it is little arrow, and when we click on that, there are two options here revert to original or save as preset. So revert to original will reset all the edits made to this image. So when we click on that, you can see that it removes all the different edits. The next option on our actions is save as preset. But for this, we need to make some edit to this image. So let's go back to our enhance AI. Let's push the accent AI, maybe a little bit of the sky enhancer. And we can also go into our mystical tool and maybe push the amount here a little bit. So this is just for simple example. We go back to our actions and now we can save this look as a preset. So it will basically create a preset out of all the edits we just made. So we will click on save as preset and that will bring us into the presets module and it will show us the preset right here 
with the option to change its name. So we will call this test and we just click enter. So we will have this look safe and ready to be used on the next image. So let's move back to our edit module by using E on our keyboard or again by using the little edit button on the top of our screen. And we can move to one of the last parts of our edit module and that's the layers panel. Now we will have a full layers panel tutorial soon on our YouTube channel. So let's just quickly touch up on some of the basics. As you can see, there are different layers here. The first one is always your original image. And then you can add additional layers by using the plus sign. Now there are different options here. You can load a new image or you can choose some of the images already here. My images are your own images and they can be your textures, overlays or additional images. And there are some preset layers here already offered by Luminar Neo. You can get some flares, light leaks, sparkles, stardust bokeh and so on. Additionally, you can also click on get more assets and that will bring you to the Skyland website and you can purchase some other layers there. Now, load image, you just click on that. You locate the layer somewhere on your computer and you import it in. In my images, you can click on see all and that will show you all the different layers, textures and anything you imported in the past. As you can see, I have many of them and that's because they're coming from our power bundle that you can check out on our website cleverphotographer.com and see all the different 850 elements you can get for your Luminar Neo. So for this example, let's just use one of these fine art textures. You just click on that and it gets applied to your layers panel. So as you can see, we have our original layer, the original image, and then the new layer, which in this case is the texture. When you do that, you can see that on our toolbar, we got a new section called layers properties. It's here where you control the layer. So we want to increase the opacity to 100. So that would be for the texture. And then click on the normal to adjust the blend mode. We want to change it from normal to something like overlay to make it a little bit more realistic. Then we can adjust the opacity and we can also adjust the masking and do further edits with it. So once again, we will cover all of this in our layers tutorial. So don't worry about it too much. If you want to reset the settings of the layer properties, you can again click on this little arrow and that will reset it back to its original values. Turn back attention to our layers panel. On the new layers, you can right click on the layer and you have an option to hide the layer or to remove the layer. So for us, let's click on the hide layer and it will hide it from the image or you can show the layer and right click on it again and click on remove layer. So this was the layers panel and now we have one more thing we need to do and that's the right click option on the image itself. So starting from the top, we have the option to set the flag to favorite, rejected and unmarked. When you bring your images into the Luminar Neo, you have options on how you can mark them to easily recognize which one you want to work on. So again, you can mark them as your favorite, which will add a little heart to them. You can mark them as rejected, so you can remove them easily after. And by default, they are all unmarked. Then we have option to export, which will open the export window. Once again, we will cover that in one of our future tutorials. What's the next option? You have the share. You can share your image by mail, messages and connect app. You can also open the image in some additional applications. And this will depend on what applications you have on your computer. The Aurora HDR, Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Lightroom, Photos and so on. After that, we have the option to go to. We can go to images from the same date, which will bring us to the catalog and we will see images from the same date or we can click on go to folder, which will again bring us back to the catalog and it will bring us into the folder where this image is. The next option here is the create album. You can create album from this image and then add similar images to it. The next option is remove from single image edits, which will remove it from the folder called single image edits. Now, if you wanna find out more about the catalog options that include the create album, folders, single image edits, I really recommend you to watch our full catalog module tutorial and the link should be available in a corner of the screen. Then we have the move to Luminar trash option, show in finder to show you where is this image located on your computer and finally the show the histogram. This is a really important one. 
show the histogram will open the histogram on the top of your toolbar and that's where you can see all the different parts of this tool. Now by clicking on the histogram you will move between the different modes of the histogram. So as you can see when I click through you can see the histogram for your reds, greens and blues and then also histogram for your luminance. Once you click again you will get the full histogram including all the different parts. And finally, with the connection with the histogram, I wanted to mention the J on your keyboard, as when you hit the J on your keyboard, you get the clipping visually live on your image. On this image, you can just see the blues on these parts of the image. However, you would also see reds on some other images. To show you how it looks, let's open the develop tool and let's just push the exposure. So when we go down with the exposure, you can see more and more parts of the image are becoming blue. And when we push it the other way around, you will see how some parts of the image are becoming red. So this was the edit module with all the different options available on your screen. We have talked about the toolbar and you can see all the tutorials for the individual tools in our All Sliders Explained series. We have also looked at the edit tab. We talk shortly about the export option. We covered everything about the before after zoom and preset action option and we also very briefly touched on the layers panel. We had a look at the option on the right clip and finally we talk about our histogram in the main toolbar. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.